taking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing in fright from the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know she's about to enter the beastly zone. <laughs> Around, she spotted a teapot. A teapot. A teapot. A teapot. Shh. 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 <laughs> what a charming little teapot. Short, stout. What's this? A dapper little clock with such a handsome face. And oh my, what an elegant candlestick. Why, thank you, mademoiselle. How remarkable. An elegant candlestick that can talk. Oui, oui, I can speak many different languages. Je m'appelle Lumière. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Permanecer sentados, por favor. What is happening? Belle is in the library with the candlestick. Beyond that, I haven't a clue. Oh, <laughs> You see, mademoiselle, this is an enchanted castle. We can all talk. All of you? But of course. My name's Cogsworth at your service. And I'm Mrs. Potts! <laughs> and I am Lumiere. Candles and teapots and clocks. Oh my! <laughs> Belle soon understood that the castle was indeed enchanted, and as she continued to explore, she soon discovered a magic rose. It's Beautiful. Suddenly, out of the shadows, sprang forth a beast! Ah! A hideous beast with crusty yellow veins, gnarly matted hair, and oh, yeah. of rotting breath that smelled of garlic and old goat, that emitted an odor so foul, so repulsive, so outrageously stinky, that any living creature would wither in its presence! Are you finished? Play on, foul creature! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I was you realize what you could have done? I didn't mean to make it Where's my father? Get out! to take his, her father's place. The beast agrees, letting her father go as long as Belle promises to stay with him, the beast, in the castle. Which is great for the beast, because he's so lonely. But bad for Belle, because who wants to live with the beast? But good for Lumia, caught in the spot, because maybe she'll break the spell and they'll all be human again. Huzzah! <laughs> the beast was once a handsome prince. But because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. As for the rose, it too was put under a spell. It continued to bloom until this, the prince's 21st year. As you can tell, the petals have already begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another, and earn her love before the last petal falls, then the spell will be broken and we all will be human again. If not, you will remain a beast for all time. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Perhaps there's a way for her to see the good in you. But how? Well, to begin with, you must first learn to be kind, courteous. You simply must behave like the prince you really are. And fortunate for us, we have the kingdom's three leading experts in princely behavior with us today. No, this is never going to work. <gasps> you must try. For all our sakes, you must try. And we, we, and we will help you. Be your best! Lesson number one. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Lesson number one. The royal bow. Place your left foot behind your right. Slide your right foot forward. Put your left hand in. Put your right hand out. Then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Listen, part dear. The royal dance. Sir so Samuel, royal dancing music, see who play. Left arm up, right arm up, elbow out. Sway. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now turn. One, two, 
It's like you're dancing in a teacup. <laughs> Charming and delightful, Mademoiselle Belle. The beast's heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Belle, I'm sorry I behaved like, well, a beast. It's all right. Perhaps I jumped to conclusions. It's true, you know, you really can't judge a book by its cover. As the moon is bright, the lights are dim. If music be the food of love, please sing along. Like that, you'll be all right. We're 
together now. Everything's going to be fine. You'll see. Yes, I got to see you one last time. Please, don't leave me. I... I love you. As the last petal fell from the rose, it seemed the spell would never be broken. That is, until magic began to rain from the sky. Like shooting stars, sparks of light fell from the bombs. Rising from the ground, the beast appeared to float before Bell's eyes. And he began to change. Yes, we created us a comic full of courage and